Hello, what's up guys? This is How to Teach X. My name is Axel and today we're going to talk about the indefinite article. The indefinite article can either be a or an, as in a car or an orange. However, we use a for nouns that start with a consonant, so B, C, F or G and so on. And we use an for nouns that start with a vowel, so A, E, I, O or U. Consequently, the words boy, school and girl turn into a boy, a school and a girl. The words aunt, orange and apple, on the other hand, become an aunt, an orange and an apple. Be careful, however, because it's an apple, but a green apple because the article now refers to the adjective green. Also, most importantly, whether to use a or an depends on the pronunciation of the word. What? Let's take the word unit, for example, as in school book unit five. The word starts with the vowel U. However, it's pronounced with a Y sound, so unit, making it a consonant. Therefore, it's a unit. The word uncle, on the other hand, starts with the letter U, but it's pronounced with an A uh sound, turning it into an uncle as it's still a vowel sound. Lastly, the indefinite article is the same for all genders. So it's a boy, a girl, a cat. And it does not have a plural form. So a girl becomes just girls. If you want to know how the plural form of words is made, check out this video in the description here. And now let's see when do we use the indefinite article. For example, we use it before phrases of time and measurements. For example, uh, we have German three times a week or our car can do 20, 20. <laughs> our car can do 220 kilometers an hour. We use it before phrases of jobs for example, my mother is a nurse or my father is a salesman. We use it with a noun complement. So, for example, if you have a dog and you want to tell him that he's a good boy, he's a good boy. Uh, we use it before phrases of nationality. So, for example, Elon Musk is a South African or Kanye West is an American. We use it for half and quite. So, I need half a pound of salt because this is quite a lot of tequila. Maybe don't use that sentence, but you get the idea. Okay, now let's see if you understood what I was talking about, giving you some examples to test your knowledge. Feel free to pause the video because I'm going to blend in the solutions in about now. An aunt, it's a burger and it's a cat. Be careful, it's a useless person or a useless person. It's a Swedish girl. What I always like to do is to give you an example where the grammatical structure is used naturally. So let's just use a text example. Feel free to pause the video and fill in the blanks yourself. And I'm going to give you the solutions in a second. Now, here are the solutions. This is Jim. He is a truck driver from America. He is an American. His truck goes only 100 kilometers an hour. It's quite a slow truck. He drives across the country seven days a week to deliver goods to your home. Jim, therefore, is a good person. Now, in case you missed a few, feel free to watch the video again. And if you like our work, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you for your participation and see you in the next video.